Backstreets with your girl Cole, man. A little intro before we go in, man. Thursday, man, I caught you on Real Forum, man. I was able to meet with you, man. Been telling motherfuckers, man. I was trying to link with a link when you finally here, man. I appreciate that first and foremost, man. It's always a pleasure, man. But we here, man. You on the back streets with your girl Cole. Let the streets know who you is, where you from, and what you got coming. Hey, man, I go by my own name. Y'all can follow me everywhere. BH115D, as in Bonnie Hunter 115D. From Houston, Texas, north side to be exact. No good. And shit, I mean, juice popping right now. Working on the EP, trying to drop it later this month, but it might get delayed. No but, uh, You got a title yet? I got a little something. something okay. Yeah. Okay. You know how you get about too much details? They be expecting that shit. Be I already told people to damn, like when I'm trying to drop it, but I'm delaying it right now because I'm still waiting on features. Mm. Okay, so you work with different artists. Who, who are some of the artists you working with? I work with She's King. Shout out She's King. That's my nigga there. We y'all got a cra crazy ass. Matter of fact, y'all got a crazy ass song together, man. Talk about that real quick. No patience. Uh, we did that like was it last? I think it was earlier last year. Okay. And um, uh, we was like, shit, we've been knowing each other so long. We was like, shit, might as well try to uh, get something going. You know what I'm saying? So, how did that song come about? She was uh. She was uh, like an engineer at Media Tech. Okay. And uh, she was going to school out there. So I come all the way out there. I find you. I stand on board. It takes me like an hour. I'll fuck with my nigga, so I'm making that dry or whatever. And then she uh she had came up with the beat. She got the beat from somebody or whatever. And I came up with the hood just like boom like that. And she was like, yeah, yeah, I'm fucking with that shit. So we just did the verses, you know what I'm saying? That's big, man. Shout out to you. King, what made a lot of females, man, in this industry, they shy away from working together, bro. But what made you take that leap and say, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to support women and work with each other. Bro, I just take it as if you're a good artist, I'm going to fuck with you. I don't have, I don't got, that's the thing with people. They be on that dry shit. Big facts. I don't Talk your shit. I would never understand that, nigga. If you know a motherfucker good, go support them, bro. You never know who you gonna meet. You never know how you gonna, you know, build your relationship and shit right. like that. So. I ain't got time for nothing, motherfucker. Well, you good, I'm fuck with you. Big flex, man. All on that dry ass, crazy. That shit be so lame. I'm like, man, you gotta get social, you gotta rub elbows, you gotta kiss the babies, all that good shit, man. How did you get your start in this music game, man? Man, I've been, I've been doing it, like I said, since I was like 12. I just picked up a pen and pad, and uh, 2014, I started like doing shows around Houston, so like okay. that. But um, I wasn't, like I said, I ain't know what I was really doing. I was just doing shows. Getting fucked over, you know. Okay. You know, you know how it is. When you first start out, you really yeah. don't know it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But uh, like last year, I was started like, like, hmm, you know what I'm saying? Cause I, I know I can be bigger than what I am. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm like, man, fuck this shit. I, I gotta do what I gotta do. I feel it. So I feel it was. Being that you said getting fucked up, what was one mistake, man, that you made early on your in your career that you learned from? <sighs> okay. So a lot of people don't like talking about this. You know how when promoters they want you to sell tickets. Oh. I hate that shit because I've been fucked up so many times to so where well, I didn't get to sell the tickets because you know people be like, oh I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy, and then when it come about, motherfucker don't buy it. I'm like, alright, what else? So I end up paying all the tickets just to perform. I'm like, alright, and I'm performing in front in front of like ten people. Damn. And then another thing is, so with that. With the, when the promoters do that, do you think it's a rip off or what? What it like? Hey, I think it's a rip off. Okay. I, I don't understand it. I, but do you feel like you gotta pay your way or with the shit? I mean, to a certain extent, but I feel as though like that ticket shit just. I, I really think it's a scam. No cap. I think it's a scam. Cause I even when I, well, no, I, I never really sold tickets. I was like, not fuck that. But even when I had shows mm. or whatever, they'll they'll put. They people first, you know what I'm saying? And then they perform and leave, perform and leave, perform and leave. And I swear to God, I did a one man show. And it went back in like 15, like 14. 15. I just stayed in tears. One artist on stage and three people in the crowd, including the DJ. See? And it's like, you know, we got to try to make those events more fair where we can get at least two songs. We can't have everybody doing three, four songs, but that, the crowd dies out. Yes. I ain't gonna lie, the crowd, you know, after. Man, I'm here for Monet. Okay, she she we on. Boom, let's go. And then if you come with a big people, it's like okay, exactly. the crowd got down. Cause I kind of understand it, but then I do feel like shit. I'm selling all these tickets. 
then what the fuck I'm getting out of it? Okay, well, they say you getting this and that, okay? I gotta see the results. A lot of people exactly. say, well, you get free studio time. Man, I don't, come on. Nah, hell nah, they only do that shit for they motherfucking people. Yeah. And the one man show I did, my best friend was in that motherfucking mm. crowd. I love that motherfucker to this day, Shout man. Shout out your best it. friend, man. I we got my man in the building, man. Juice is out, man. Y'all go tap in, man. Yes. How do you feel about the females right now in the city as far as music wise? Man, them females popping. We popping. Females is popping, goddamn. I'm, hey. I'm excited to be a part of that, too. You in the realm of that shit, man. Making yeah. moves, man. You got South by Southwest coming up, man. Talk about how big that's going to be for you. Have you been before? <laughs> Yeah, I've been too. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think this shit gonna be a, a little different because I'm more active. And that's what I feel about my platform. Mm -hmm. I started at 18, bottom of 18, October. Mm -hmm. And then I, I was like, fuck, I'm just gonna drive down there. I only been in the game three, four months and I ain't have a face. Now a nigga like Back streets to come down there everywhere, so it's gonna be a different. I, if, <laughs> I appreciate it's gonna be a different experience. And I say the same thing for you because nigga, January is Almost over, you done did a show every week this week. Where does the fucking grind come from? I must know. It's just an inspiration, bro. I had you work, by yeah, the way. I work to be tired in a motherfucker. But hey, if and you, still that show's 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12. There's no excuse, people, but go ahead, my bad. Bro. Yeah, I just have to good, let man. people know that because we always think it's about. Selling crack and robbing people. No motherfucker, these niggas that work a nine to five, twenty to twelve, whatever your schedule is, hustle, whatever you do, and still put that shit in a music career, man. But go ahead, I just always have to shout yeah, this shit out though. Hey, but people don't understand that. People don't understand it because they too damn simple minded. You know what I'm saying? They don't, they don't, they don't know the antics and the business behind this shit. But like I said, I just, I know I got people counting on me. You know mm. what I'm saying? And I believe myself more than maybe my people believe in me. So I'm like, man, fuck yeah, that. I, I know. To. I know this shit gonna be big for me. I said it goddamn last year. And I'ma say it this year. I believe it. it. Appreciate it, man. And I'ma say it until that shit. Oh, man, let me ask you this, Monet. Do you have like any advice that you can give to anybody that's watching that goes through some of those similar experiences that you done experienced in the industry by far and what they can avoid? Man, look, just stay humble. If you stay humble and, and, and like what you're doing and actually want to get bigger than what you're doing, than what you is, man, just keep going. Because if you if you believe in yourself, you ain't gonna go nowhere. If you, if you don't believe in yourself, you ain't gonna go nowhere. You know what I'm saying? So just keep going, man. Just keep grinding, for real. Gotta grind, man. Did you have a dream collab with anybody that allowed that you would like to work with, who want to work with? Uh, come on, like famous wise or just big? Period. <coughs> Probably Jay Z or Drake. Okay. They're oh, my okay. two, they're my two okay. niggas. Okay. Yeah, the goats. I swear to God. The goats. I swear to God. Man, I tell people that all the time. Like, if you want to model your career off somebody, Jay Z, That's my Drake, is some people you should study. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Jay Z dropped his first album, whether people know it or not, at 27 years old. Mm -hmm. You know, and he is at 40. Eight, nine, correct me if I'm wrong, still relevant. Uh -huh. So you can bullshit your career, nobody give a fuck about you, and you can get it from somewhere, somewhere, right? Yeah. Do you think the uh, generation before them failed? They glorified. Yeah. They glorified. I, I mean, I think it's a proper help as well. You glorify that shit, I think it's a proper help. Okay. Because you, I mean, it's a you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 I can understand it too. Right, because I ain't no, like, for me, I'm a, I'm a huge advocate for marijuana stone, but if I'm sitting here all day, every day, smoking weed, no matter how much I love it, I got a problem. Yeah. 24 7, I'm. I ain't did nothing. I ain't fed the baby, made no money. Yeah. I ain't did nothing. Yeah. But smoke weed, them, some of them rappers, they don't do nothing but pop mm -hmm. Do you think the clock chasing is overrated nowadays? Yeah, I think so. Because I, I, like the shit I be seeing on like Instagram and like all that crazy ass shit on social media sites. I'm like, why? Yeah. Like, why are you doing this shit? You need money that bad, then go get a job or something like that. But is I that the way the, the era is going? Like, you have to do something outlandish and outrageous to, to stand out. pop or whatever the case may be? Yeah, I think so. But I don't I don't understand why you need to do that. You know what I'm saying? Me but, neither. I can't understand it for the life of me, but I guess more clicks, the more followers, the more... Yeah. I don't know. I mean, that, that shit did for me. <laughs> I, I don't understand it, but I mean, hey, teach his own, man. If you have I'm happy. Big facts, <laughs> man. H-Town Trafficking Tour, man. You on that with the homie lady. Like, she doing big shit in the city, man. Shout Talk out. about that a little bit, please, if you don't mind. Yeah, so I had a, 
But I was like, Nate, I know her before the Houston, the Houston trafficking tour, uh, the showcase. And um, somebody had tagged me in one of her posts to go, uh, you know, do the show. So she did me. She was like, oh, I seen you got tagged. We're going here to get registered for the show. I'm like, all right, big. So it was just like a normal showcase to so when I think like studio time or something like that with Raj Records. I went up there, I met her. You know, I like her her energy, I like her vibe, yeah, I like what she doing, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And I like her motherfucking place at five blood. That shit real nice and elegant. You know what I'm saying? So Big I went up there, I seen how the crowd was, I'm like, alright. And I know some artists who who did the uh Houston chapter until last year. I'm like, alright, I seen some benefits behind it. And you traveling, you know, you're doing all that. Let me see what I can do. Let me see if I'm gonna get on, you know what I'm saying? So she did the showcase. And thank God I got on. Shout out Lady Nate. You feel me? Cause so far, we only been to uh, South Carolina and we been to Atlanta. We just came back from Atlanta last night. Hey, bit of this is good, man. I'm just saying like real, that. For real. You never know how your career gonna turn up within the next six months. Big facts. For real. Just going to different city, even oh, in the mm -hmm. city. Lady Nate has so much Lady from Lady Nate from the north, but she has shit on the south, on the mm -hmm. east. She do a lot of shit on the north side, so it's always, you know. Very important to always show love to people who do shit for the city because I, I work with her hand in hand and I know her job ain't easy. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Getting artists, artists not showing up, artists being late, artists that is showing up, trying to get shows, get people mm -hmm. on the court, man. So shout out again, man. You go on tour, man. When is the next show? Let everybody know, man, so they can tap in and go follow you and fuck with you. All right, so my next show is Thursday, fine. Yeah, it's uh. The uh, showcase to New York because we supposed to go to New York uh, late February. Friday I got a show at DD Sky's Club for Uno Management and Problem Hall. Oh, what's good? And uh, fifteen dollars for tickets. See, another ticket shit, but I ain't tripping on that. They I fuck with uh, Uno Mob and all that. They they cool Uno Management from Problem Mob. Right. And then uh, Saturday I'm back at Fine Flair for the Dreams to Reality showcase. Uh, and shit, that's what I got so far. I'm, I got shit lined up really, but for the week, that's what I got here. Yeah, man, you working, man. The projects, anything else coming out that we can be looking for, man, if you don't mind before we get out of here. Yeah, just be on the lookout for my EP, man. I got y'all. Say, I'm going to drop it, I'm going to drop it. Everybody keep asking me to drop it. I got y'all. I'm just waiting on features right now. That's all I'm really waiting on. Okay, once gotcha. we get those features locked in, we gonna plug it in, man. And plug your IG where they can go find you, YouTube, SoundCloud, Spotify, everything where your brain at if you don't mind before we get out there. Alright, all my social media is BH115B, that's Bounty Hunter 115B. YouTube is Monet, M O N E, possibly. SoundCloud is Monet's Hip Hop. And all my shit is on streaming platform, Juice, Hold Up, No Patience, all this shit. So y'all go check it out, stream that body. Man, y'all tap in with a man. Let me get a few photos of you. I mean